So what was the, the, the one thing that stood out to you the most from Champions Classic? Did anything surprise you? Did anything blow you away in terms of, of uh, yeah, a little too much light coming in? Light Pro- probably a good those, thing. Less light eyes. might be better for me right those now. Those hungover eyes are struggling. Yes. yes. Um, you know what? And I don't want this to take away from, from what Michigan State did. Yeah. Because they hung in there and they made plays yep. and in double overtime they they made some you know Joey Hauser was great, Marty Sissoko was like a different freaking player. I cannot fathom it. He was he was a he was a dude that would come in and foul four times and yep. be a big yep. that you were like he has no control of of his body. He's just no. You thought just, he was going to transfer to Western Michigan. He's just fouling the hell out of everybody. Yeah. And yeah. now he's fluid running the floor. He's catching lobs. He's making post moves. Like it's like Tom Izzo said that he'd gotten way better, and everybody's like, "Yeah, okay, <laughs> right, right." Shit, he did. Yeah. So yeah. Th- that's not my main takeaway. And I, again, I don't mean this in any way to take away from Michigan State, but I was shocked at the lack of execution by Kentucky late. The the inbounds play. You, hey, you weren't the only one. The first Malik Hall slip to force overtime oscar yeah. shibwe is above every player right it's, why I mean, it's, a, it's a good read yeah. but it's yeah. the only read i mean you have to go there because yeah. the defense is so abysmal yeah um the press play was awesome by tom Izzo, but you can also argue you know, i guess you're pressing to try to take some time off the clock but yeah. if you don't they've got to still score in the half court which at times can be a struggle for that michigan state team offensively it was like, what are they running? It was like watching one on one the entire time. I, 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 I felt was like shocked. they didn't run anything. G Boy's fifth foul, just a blatant moving screen. I mean, there was so many things where I'm like, you know, they're missing free throws. Yeah. I, I was shocked at Kentucky's lack of execution. And and credit Michigan State for taking total advantage. Tyson Walker made big shots. Joey Hauser made big shots. Yeah. Um, Malik Hall got dunks. Yeah. <laughs> so, but that that was my biggest takeaway. Holy crap, yeah. Kentucky gave the game away. It's hard It's hard not to think that way when you watch the game because Kentucky had the game so many different times. They lost it seven different times right. after winning it seven different times. Yes, I mean, it yes. was crazy. And again, like credit to Michigan State, credit to Izzo. Um, and, and Cal took some accountability for it and said we didn't execute, that's on me. But then there was the excuse of but. We haven't had three guys, but, but they we have haven't. veteran. They have veteran guys, right? I mean, they have they have some youth too. But Jacob Toppin is fifth year senior, right? Yes, Shibwe uh, is fifth year. Yeah, um, and Shibwe's been Weaver in the program for a year and a half now. No, He's been I, there for a year and a half. I agree. I thought there was is Antonio Reeves an older guy too? No, well, older guy transferred from Illinois transfer. State. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, so, I just there was guys making mistakes that you're like, these guys should not be doing this. No doubt, no doubt that. That was a big takeaway for me. The other takeaway with Kentucky is they're going to be really freaking good. They're going to be really good because the pieces fit together. I like Cason Walls. Oh, he's awesome. He plays his ass off. Yeah, yeah. No, they, he defends. I asked Cal this after the game. Um, Did he answer? Yeah, we walked for the about five minutes to the bus, just just the two of together? us. Together? Yeah, together. We were hugging. No, we were not hugging. But uh, I did. I did ask him. You know, like when's the last case in Wallace? The last uh, guy who defended like that as a freshman for him might have been Michael Gil- Gil- Gilchrist. He was on the perimeter. Defensively. You know, I mean, this kid comes in and he wants to guard, and he can run a team, and he can make an open shot, and even a contested one at times. Like he's not yeah. a bad shooter. So I, I think he's the guy that changes them. But he also does a little bit of everything. Five everything, rebounds. Everything. Five assists, eight steals. On I've top said of his you points. can't look at the box score, mm-hmm. honestly, to to judge the impact of Casey Walls. And the box well, score looks pretty good. Two nights ago, but, you could. That's a pretty impressive box yes. score. But a lot of times, you'll, you'll look at it and be like, all right, he only scored like seven points. And it's like, damn, he does everything he else. Al- he also let him in minutes. He played 44 minutes. Right. He He's awesome. And they've got shooters. And the shooters, those two shooters – didn't make shots. CJ Frederick and Antonio Reeves didn't really make yeah, shots. One for one for seven and two for seven. Right. Where where Joey Hauser did. Joey Hauser. Joey Hauser kept played. him in the game. And, and they there have been these rumblings out of East Lansing that yeah. you know he he has been their one of their maybe their best player yeah. throughout yeah. the fall. Yeah. 
And again, the aircraft carrier game is probably the perfect storm of the worst conditions for him because he's yeah. got to make shots. Yep. No doubt. Uh, no doubt. I think he I think he had two points, five fouls, and like four turnovers on the carrier. But he said it was, it was it was the outdoor conditions. That's what he said. Jokingly, that's, but he said it. It's probably fair. I mean, for it a shooter, is. yeah, that, that is right. that's tough. Um the shooting off the move grabbed my eye. I, yeah. I I felt like the pin down stuff they were running for him was was really, really good. And he um, had confidence by then. He had yeah, yeah. confidence after it's making amazing. a couple. How about yeah. even he makes a couple? They get to kick out late, I think in the second half, shot fake, wonder will pull up. Yep. When yep. you make shots, yes. yeah. the way yeah. defenses guard you, it just opens everything up. All of a sudden, you can be a driver where you're not having to grind it out past an athlete yep. because they're sprinting at you, they're running by you, shot fake, wonder will pull up. It just, when when the ball goes in the basket, from a confidence standpoint and from a way that def- defenses guard you, it, it changes the game. And he... He was feeling confident, and he he played great. I mean, twenty three points that's that's big time. Eight rebounds. He, he yep. played really well. He was good, like you said. Tyson Walker was really good down the stretch, and, and to me, you know, they're a team that they're probably not going to blow you away this year. They're going to have to do it collectively. And, and Jay Nakins probably keeps getting a little better and better and, and more comfortable. I will say, end of the game, it yeah. will be interesting to see who is the guy. Yeah, that that's yeah. that's definitely going to be. And last year, you know, Tyson Walker, the game winner against Purdue. Yep. Um, they kind of took turns. It, you know, is it? Is I it feel Joey like Hunter? it should be Walker making the decision. I'm not. Again, well, especially with, with Sissoko's ability to roll now, yeah. you could you could set a ball screen. Yep. For a lot, I mean, Hogard can make plays, but you you worry about Tyson Walker as a shooter. He can get right. to his pull up, which he likes. Yep. He can shoot threes. Hogard, he's got to get into the paint for a layup or a floater to be a threat to score. Yeah. Um, but yeah, and then you you surround him with Hauser and Hall and right. and you know, so yeah. Yeah, I, think, I mean I, think I agree. Listen, I think we got to a point now where we're like, all right, you know what, Michigan State, like they can finish may I don't know if they can win the Big Ten, but they can win a lot of games in the Big Ten this year. We're coming into the year. I was thinking, man, because Izzo, I think they're five hundred over the last two years in the Big Ten or right around there. I'm thinking, eh, shit, it's probably another 500 year for Tom. So Soko changes everything. He he really everything. does. Everything. Because you think yeah. Marcus Bingham's out of there. Who is playing right. center? And you're like, Sissoko or Jackson Kohler or one right. of the other freshmen. There's That's right. not going to, you no, know, fly. get it done. And now I'm I'm all, that's fine. I mean, listen, the the the, the Cooper guy, you have about as good a chance of, of stopping Oscar Shibwe as, as the Cooper kid they put in late. Here's the thing about me and Oscar if we went yeah. up together. He's got to guard me too, so I'll just take him on the perimeter and three so. better than twos. You think so? Oh, he he defended right. at times really well. He did. Um, Oscar's gotten. I mean, listen, he he made he made like a seventeen footer. He did. Um, yeah. you know, at one possession late, it was it was late, and he should have gotten the ball and, and and tried to you know score on the post, and he faded away. The and shot he, he took it. late in the game was horrible. Yeah. And you think Oscar Shibwe is going to chase me off all those screens? Please. Well, not right not now. Bad. Not not after missing a month with his with his knee. I'll not give him another bad. couple weeks. No, no, no. Those right. big guys, they have they have they tractor vision to yeah. stay around the painted yeah, area. It's true. It is. They true, might but... be out there for a little bit, but you start coming off screens, and it's a different animal for those dudes. I still say this, and and people will rip on me for this for how I do my rankings, but I think I, I'll I have them at like eleven right now. Kentucky, I think they will be. You can't. I mean, that's fine because you cannot overreact to right. one game. Right. I you was disappointed them. in them, but yeah. they can come out and they're going to play a schedule that gives them opportunity against plenty of good people, yep. and they could look totally different. They got Gonzaga Sunday. They've yeah. got Gonzaga Sunday. Totally. How big is that Gonzaga game? Gonzaga could blow them out, or Kentucky could blow Gonzaga out, yep. and now we feel totally different about Kentucky or the Zag.